Despite facing numerous complaints, San Diego City Council members have unanimously passed a water rate hike. Our Jamie Chambers joining us live from City Hall to show us how it's going to impact San Diegans. Jamie. Kathleen, they're talking about a 3% raise to all rate payers that are buying water here in San Diego City. Now, the City Council took in 98 pages of complaints. That's not 98 complaints, but 98 pages filled with complaints. But they said that their hands were tied and they had to move forward with passing that rate hike. As a business owner, I understand that there is a need to balance the books, but if the residents of the city are struggling to afford water, the government is obligated to find a better solution than never-ending rate increases. I work three jobs right now in order to pay bills. I had had four generations living in my two-bedroom apartment because we cannot afford to live apart. We will be living in the streets because we cannot pay the bills. The frustration and desperation was clear as San Diegans begged, pleaded, and attempted to shame the San Diego City Council into keeping the water rates where they have been for the last two years after the sticker shock from the last rate increase is still on the minds of rate payers. $25 every two months for years and years and years. And now? 300. The San Diego County Water Authority raised the wholesale price of water by 3.7%, forcing the city of San Diego vote on passing along a 3% rate hike on water for the city of San Diego. With inflation at generational highs, gas prices well over $5 a gallon, and SDG&E power costs arguably the most expensive in America, the water rate increase is just the next hurdle for San Diegans to deal with. Now, so San Diego as a whole is not suffering the supply issues that other cities all across the uh, country and specifically in California are dealing with when it comes to drought conditions. We have supply. They have made massive investments in the 90s to make sure that we have the desal plant in Carlsbad. We also have nice full reservoirs because of the different projects that they put together. So that is the reason, according to the County Water Authority, is why these costs keep going up. Decent infrastructure, it's ready to handle the water issues, but it's going to cost us. And that's exactly what we're seeing today. That's very latest from downtown in front of City Hall, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.